If you guys wonder what it's like racing for Team Spirit 2015, number one team and global, well today I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what it's really like and how we actually do everything here in Team Spirit. So I don't think I've actually recorded this type of team race video in a while. I normally just record one every team race and that's basically the beginning, showing you guys the rewards and everything like that, doing like a little gameplay and then also um, telling you guys how many laps I'm going for. But today I'm just going to show you guys um, some of the things uh, or share some of the things that basically I do with uh, Team Spirit 2015, how everything goes on. And this uh, team so i hope you guys are excited for this series video if you are smash like button also subscribe to the channel with notifications on anyways let's go ahead and get started all right so uh let me go ahead and check this out real quick this thing right here this is like a bug uh it doesn't really have any rewards but it keeps popping up over and over again it's so annoying um i actually contacted support about that and they said they're gonna look at it um but anyways so team race as you guys but you know, um, I have been in Team Spirit for quite a while now, and uh, Team Spirit 2015 is number one right now, as you guys can see. Let me head over to Team Rankings, take a look at that. Team Spirit 2015, number one globally, and so this right here is how they do their team races, okay? So this team race, we are going for 95 laps. Uh, normally, we're, we were just going to aim for 85. The reason why we're going for 95 is because we want to secure first place here Um and race so as you guys can see we are facing a crazy silent sky joker's villains uh maniac outlaws dawn and dusk a wolf pack uh we got the um os sg gold and so on and so on right so as you see there's more and more and more and then there's also plastic fury which is my old team um so here is how we actually do it uh, right now we're going for 95 laps once again um so just to secure that first place we're going to do some um, extra laps of, for example like 10 15 laps just to secure that uh, but we are officially done with this race and um, we didn't have too many top teams competing with us other than basically crazy silent sky and a couple other ones here basically the top three and stuff um, but right now I'm pretty sure somebody's already on one so we could just wait for that so here is how we actually do it when there is a new task in here so for example when there is one for all some teams or many teams they normally just say one for all or OFA me or I'm on OFA or something like that but here we actually do it pretty simple it's pretty simple in here in Team Spirit. so that's how you do it you basically just go into uh, in team chat right and you just type in one if you want to go for OFA, which is one for all, you just type one. Literally how my um, lead just did it right there. So right now, if I wanted to do one, for example, right? One for all, I do one and that's about it. And that means that I am going to do one for all now. So I have to rank up three uncommons uh, that are winked. And that's super, super simple. All I have to do is head over to uncommon. And then we're going to go ahead and rank one up just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and find another one. And then lastly, another uncommon just like this. So that right there is how you do it, basically. Like gold MG. Oh, I got you then. <laughs> if you want me to collect gold, I got you. So if I want to do, um, for example, three, right? Uh, which was GE, joint effort. All I have to do is just type in three, for example, and then enter it. So that means that I got it. But I think someone just did it and I, I, I got zero gold out of that, unfortunately. So yeah, I'm pretty sure my uh, face cam is covering it, but I got zero gold out of that, unfortunately. But it's okay. So see how quick that was. And now if I wanted to do OFA once again, I just have to type in one and I'd have to hatch all those eggs. I kind of want to do it. You know what? Can I actually do it? I'm going to I'm gonna type one and okay, let's just do it. Let's speed this up. All right, so ladies and gents, we are almost done with OFA, uh, which took about three minutes, four minutes maybe max. So it didn't take that much time. That's because I had three batteries um, open, although I had actually four or five, maybe. Uh, yeah, I, I had about five, but I was using three of them. I just wish that this uh, tree long egg was all, all the way over there and not here because it's kind of bothering me. The reason why I have it saved and not just I, I didn't hatch it was because 
I guess I'll just save it for a review and um, kind of want to see like the animation of the ultimate if that makes sense. Don't bully me, okay? <laughs> just it's for the video. Um, but anyway, 76 out of um, or 75, and I'm just gonna say done. Uh, so I am done with OFA here. But um, basically, I'm sure you saw the chat. Um, so every uh, like every minute or so. I went ahead and updated the score um, and the team chat so my teammates know basically. And um, and in the meantime, I'm sure they were working on uh, three, which is joint effort, right? So they were basically just um, doing lots of PvP attacks and stuff like that and winning those. So when it comes down to like PvP battles and stuff, especially PvP, uh, many top teams, including our team, we don't really say anything. Um, like you just go ahead and do the PvP battle unless there's somebody that really needs a lot of points and then you just let them do it. But other than that, you don't really have to do much, honestly. Um, so anyways... Let's see how this battle goes here real quick. We're facing a Lord Nebatos. Ooh, Shelly's dead. Not surprised, honestly. And, okay, next turn you're going to be dead. So what I'll do is, I guess I'll just heal myself. That wasn't the heal skill, never mind. It looked like it was, but it wasn't. I'll just go ahead and apply this for fun. Um, Do you have... It doesn't even matter, honestly. Let me kill you. It doesn't matter if you have Soul Drag or not. I'll just do that for fun, and you're dead, GG's. So just like that, uh, we win that battle. But um, yeah, once again, when it comes down to something like that, it doesn't really matter. Am I like the top 100? I, I think I just saw me myself in the top one. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, yeah. Uh, but anyways, when it comes down to PvP or something like that, or maybe gold, um, you just go ahead and collect it, even if it's joint effort. Like with my old team and stuff like that, uh, we had to like call out how many, how much gold we're actually going to collect. Like for example, Plaza Fury, MGO, um, those teams like we used to call it out. But here you just go on and collect it just so that it quickly gets done and you move on. You know what I mean? Like you're super fast with it. You don't take time calling it out and stuff like that. Um, and even calling out the tasks, it just takes like literally 0.5 seconds. You just type in either one, two, or three, whichever one you do. So for example, one once again stands for one, uh, OFA, which is one for all. Two is for do your part and three for joint effort. Now, if it comes down to like, for example, um, joint effort, uh, let's say you're breeding epic monsters or something and nobody's going to skip it. Uh, well, eventually there is a person that will skip it. But let's say that the person doesn't want to skip it and uh, you have to like breed the monsters. You call out three times two or something like that. Basically, um, you call out how many joint effort you're going to do. So that would be three of twos if you want to do two or three fours if you want to do four of them. It's kind of complicated, but once you, if you were in this team, you would understand. Like this is actually my first team uh, racing for like um, a high lap because last time, let me show you guys this. If I head over to um, my race log here, right? This is my second race with them. The first race was with the Alfred Marathon, right? This one right here, and we just went for 12 laps. The aim, I mean, our goal was just 10 laps, but we went for 12. Just because why not people should just uh, board I guess and they wanted to do some extra uh, laps and nodes and stuff so yeah but um, this lap or this race actually this marathon is my first one uh, it's like my first official team race where we go for like a high amount of laps or 90 laps I mean it's quite a lot and we're still going right now we're going for 95 just to secure first place uh, you know right now they have second player or second team sorry second team has 86 laps and you never know, what if they end up getting some more laps in the next three days, you know? So we're just going to go for that 95 laps because um, we want to stay in number one. And if we do end up, you know, staying in number one, which we should, we will be getting 600 cells. If we end up number two, it'd be 480 cells. So there's less cells there, right? So we're basically going to save um, or obtain more cells if we stay in first. And then there's also individual rewards that will reward you with more cells, of course. Um, I've got to say our top three or top five racers, basically our top racers in here that you see here, they have been doing so much. But look, 85,000 points first place and then you got 61,000 second, 48,000, 40,000, uh, 42,000. It's it's insane, right? So lots of points. Um, one of the craziest I've seen, honestly. But uh, yeah, when it comes down to like preparation for team race, I don't think there's actually a list for it. Like what you really need, like how much you really need. You just need to prepare as much as possible. So just try to prepare as much as possible. So we're talking, for example, if I could give you guys an example for like uncommon cells for, let's say, um, that wing monster, right? Like Terra, right? I had, when I started, 
I think I had like 7,000 cells before the marathon actually started. Now I have like 1,200 or something. Um, but I still need to extract many that I have right now. So they'll give me quite a lot of cells. But um, that's just an example. Like for Terror, try to gain at least 10k, 12k, or 15k. If you, if you could get 20k, go ahead and do so. You can be the carrier uh, for the race basically. So just try to obtain as much cells as possible. And then when it comes down to runes, just basically open up on your all your uh, level 1s, 2s, 3s chests because you'll need them throughout this marathon of course so for example all these level ones and twos i'll go ahead and open them up once uh the i actually opened up many of them but i still have um a couple left in there that i'll open up but right now i mean i actually did help out quite a lot with uh, the runes part like the level fours fives and even sixes those ones the most um but i'm gonna have to work on my twos a lot i had not enough but i'll have to work out more on that and um yeah, basically just try to prepare as much as possible. Um, but it's not really that complicated, honestly. Racing in here, it's not really that complicated, to be honest with you guys. So, looks like there's going to be an uncommon hatching there. Is anybody going to do it? It's actually a breed. Never mind. It's not even a hatch. Um, I might be able to do it. Let me see. So, let me go in and sell this. I'm, I'm just double checking. So, oh, there we go. See? Okay, let me do one again. So that apparently is six rain cups for winged. So I can do, for example, the common one if I wanted to. But let's just continue doing UC because I have quite a ton of those. So we just got to do six of these. Um, so that was one of them. And there should be two. I don't want to waste too much. Too much of these cells. Let me do the ones that are not ranked up, basically. And this right... Let me see. This one right here should be four like that we got two more that i could do uh but also when it comes down to ofa and stuff like that um there's not really anybody that will like confirm you on it you know what i mean like maybe your team guys for those of you that are watching and you're in a different team your team probably like confirms you when um you're on for example ofa but our team you just go ahead and call it and then you do it unless you have like tons of points in that case you can either give it to somebody or if they call it with you you can either end up giving it to them or you can do it yourself but you just don't waste time basically just try to do it as fast as possible that's basically the goal if that makes sense so um yeah i just wanted to give you guys an example of what it's like racing um in team Series 2015 like number one team right now in global so yeah as you guys can see in the team chat it's literally ones twos and threes and stuff like that super super simple right it's not even that complicated like you don't have to take time to like write out one for all and do your part or join effort and stuff like that you just quickly do it quickly mention it in the chat and you got it uh but anyways guys that's going to be pretty much it for today's monster gens um team race video i hope you guys did enjoy if you did drop a like subscribe to the channel with notifications on and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out